Hello guys! Welcome to my first ever vlog. I'm so excited for this. So today I'm gonna tell you how I made my piazza. So let's get it on. story guys i just want to say thank you so much to those who subscribe our channel and those who haven't yet please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell right here so december 21st 2019 this is how we met each other through online dating website at this time i was still working out of the country and then it uh i, I still remember it was our christmas break for three weeks so i don't want to go outside either because I was saving my money and also I don't have anyone to go with me except for my friend but uh, she's busy also it was so weird because all of my social media accounts like Facebook account Instagram account even my YouTube account it showed there that uh, are you that do you want to have a long-term relationship with the foreign guys like that and then I was like what is this what is this it's so weird so i tried i did try i i tried to um connect one of the dating sites i already had an account at that time and then i remember i was keep scrolling 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 because there's a different people different people in different <laughs> countries and then i i saw this guy that there is a kid beside him he was smiling at that picture he was smiling i really like how he smiled and i saw also his eyes is there's something in in his eyes when i click the heart because there is something hard in that website that if you were gonna click that it will notify the person and then after i click the heart i message him I was the one who first messaged him. I said hi. I remember it's still, uh, it was December 21st, 10 40 ish a.m. Asian time. And then a few minutes later, he replied. He replied something like that. So I was like, oh, this is, this is, uh, true or something. But, uh, deep inside, I still don't trust, uh, that website i never i never i never tried that before i just tried this i just tried right now so um i offered i offered him my whatsapp number because i don't want uh, i don't want to keep messaging there i don't want to keep um keep using that website so i i offered him my whatsapp number and he also gave his whatsapp number and then i I was the one I was the one again who messaged him for the second time around I said hey and then he said hello and then I, I asked him is it John because in that website he uh, his name was John so I did I really did not know that his real name uh, is Terry so he said actually my name is my real name is Terry so so I was like okay okay so so this is not all the information there it's 50 percent uh true and for 50 percent it's not real so we kept messaging each other we kept messaging until he asked me about like why i was working outside of the country why i was alone at that time i told him everything even though even though uh, we just knew each other um, at that time, but I I told him few of my um, history, few of my personal information, and then I asked him, can we uh, can we can we see each other through a video call? Can we do a video call? And he said, no, not uh, not now because it's already late here. So I said, okay, so. I respect that I really respect that and then I stop I stop messaging him I stop replying him for like a day we stop communicate uh, communicating each other for one day December 23rd 2019 he messaged me again he messaged me for the first time he messaged me that 
hey what's you're doing and then i said like blah 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 like this so he asked me uh at that time he asked me can i call you can we talk i said like okay uh actually i am here right now in the airport because my uh my friend died uh going to india and then he said oh it's okay it's okay so i thought it's it was video call so i was like i feel nervous but it's not video call it's only uh audio it's only voice call so so uh, we talk and i said like i'm really sorry i'm really sorry because because um i'm not really good in english and then he said like oh no it's okay i found it like sexy your accent but sexy accent <laughs> filipina accent is sexy so so we keep um we keep uh, talking for like i think 20 minutes 20 minutes or so so i said okay i will gonna go now and he said like okay so that is the day that was the day that we we start communicating again consistent na yon. so after a few days after a few days five days or like after a week i we still messaging every morning every day we messaging each other and then i ask him first that what is our uh what what is our status now because um we keep messaging each other but i like i never okay uh, after five days i remember after five days he asked me can i see you through video call and i said like okay okay and now he really wants to see me so we <laughs> we did a video call it was like he's real he's really real so i was so nervous like my hand was shaking at that uh night because we uh, i was talking to him evening asian time so i feel like and he said um actually i don't want to rush, rush that, that thing. thing but now right now we're friends end time end time and he said and, and he said end time he keeps saying end time it's like okay, end time. and then after two weeks he surprised me with a bouquet of flowers like roses and i feel like oh after week and a half december 29 2019 i asked him again what is our status now because there is a one message that uh he said sweetheart so i felt like why he started calling me this uh sweetest um name sweetheart or baby but he called me sweetheart and he starts we start also telling i love yous to each other so i asked him what is our real status now and then he said you don't know we're in a relationship now and i, I feel like this is this is how foreign guys uh ask girls to be their girlfriend as a girl to be the, uh, to be his girlfriend and then i was i just kept like okay but deep inside i was so happy so it was still like a Christmas vacation. He asked me, do you want to go back home? And I said, yes, I really want to go back home, but I want to work a little bit more because um, I cannot go back home right now. And then I, I need to uh, book a ticket, something like that. And then he said, if there's a person who will gonna sponsor your trip are you willing to go back home and i said like of course that is i i really miss my family like i really want to go back home so then he said okay you can go back home two weeks of our relationship he asked me are you ready now to to see my mom to talk to my mom because i was gonna go there i will go there to have dinner and i said like okay i came back home to philippines last year february but before that um terry already had a 
flight ticket going here for the month of April because he really wants to see me here he really wants to meet me and my family here in Philippines so he booked a flight for the month of April but then again the COVID started and then his flight ticket was cancelled so we tried he he did he booked a flight again for the month of April but it's different uh, country like a reroute like uh, USA in that country and then that country to Philippines so for the second time he booked a flight because he really eager to meet me here in person he planned to propose to me uh, last April because it was supposed his uh, first time visiting here in Philippines meeting my family because of the COVID all our plan vanish um, he he booked a flight for the not only twice but sixth time but it was cancelled all of the flight it was cancelled so last year november i told him that you know i joined this uh facebook page that they're trying to meet their loved ones in the third country which is dubai because as of now philippines is not yet open for for tourists and then other country also it's not yet open for tourists because of the covid and then he said like okay but we're gonna take a look in that country so i i never i never i wasn't expect uh i wasn't expected that uh there is a day that he said we were gonna meet in dubai I was I was pretty I was pretty excited I was pretty nervous so I asked him that what month are we going to meet in Dubai and then he said if we can meet uh, next month we can we can meet there but if we cannot then we will gonna have the documents for January so I said maybe we'll try to gather our all the documents right now we're gonna start now and then we try to uh, meet there on december and then he said okay let's do it so november 17 last year i i start gathering all the um the documents because it's there's a lot of documents that we need to prepare so december 22nd uh, no 23rd because it's uh, 10 hours flight uh, from Cebu City and I had a layover in Pampanga for uh, 20 minutes I think or 30 minutes so it's th uh, 10 hours flight going to Dubai so I, I arrived there exactly 1 a.m. Uh, on the 23rd so I was I was pretty nervous I was I was so excited I was so happy also because I finally for the several times that we uh, we tried to see each other it we cannot we haven't seen each other for a year so and that feeling for the first time seeing your man standing next to you is really like a uh, body shaking makes emotion because no god is so good even though we had a lot of struggles uh so many challenges but uh look like his plan is the best his plan is always the best than our plans so we stayed in dubai for nine days we um uh we celebrate uh christmas together actually our christmas is uh, it's there's something happened to him but it's we just take that as a challenge for us and then we did it we we overcome in that struggle and then and now uh, I'm against you so guys this is my love story this is how we met each other this is uh, uh, how I met my fiance, how we knew each other. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to message me because of course I will gonna reply all of you. And thank you so much for supporting me and for subscribing my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much.